This is a very good question because we know that locusts have peaks and recessions in their dynamics. Sometimes uh, lots of them, like last year here. Maybe in several years the populations will be very low. And one of the problems is that when the population is low, people tend to forget about locusts, lose the habit of doing survey, and lose attention. They don't pay attention to the problem. What is happening then, after several years, suddenly, in one year, you have a big locust outbreak. This is not suddenly. This outbreak was preparing uh, for a couple of years somewhere, but you didn't see that. You didn't notice that because of losing attention. So what is done in many other countries, even if there is no big outbreaks, a certain, maybe not very high, but certain level of monitoring is maintained. This is a must. This is obligatory to keep uh, the population under control. And one thing I want to add is one of my good colleagues, uh, his Michel Lecoq from France, he has maybe 50 years of locust experience. He recently published a paper where he said, look, locust outbreaks, we know now sufficiently from scientific side, from scientific point of view, we know sufficiently to understand locust situation. Okay, I may not be always in agreement with that because the more I learn, the more I understand that I don't know a lot of things about this locust. However, he said, the key is human organization, human preparedness. It's because of our very bad understanding of the problem, bad organization, bad logistics, and so on and so on, unpreparedness. That is what happening with locust outbreaks. Locust outbreaks happen because of us. We create the problem.